Q&O number two. Frank, why are you such an attention whore? What is it about attention that you like? Okay, my answer is very simple. <clears throat> and what is wrong with wanting attention anyway? There's nothing. There's, uh, despite the thing that I just argued, there's nothing wrong with, there's nothing wrong with um, being so obvious about it either. I mean, it's pretty obvious that Ron, when Ronnie Coleman poses his muscle on the stage, he's, he's, he, he wants attention, right? That's like saying, oh, it's not like complaining that Lady Gaga uh, dresses a certain way because she, she she wants to be perceived a certain way. That she 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 wants to sell records or or when you're promoting yourself. That's what that's what being an artist is about, you know, promoting yourself. That exactly what you know. The, the anything in business, you know, you, it's just it's just it's crying for attention. The difference between the way I do it and other people do it is that I don't sugarcoat it. You know, I just do it for its own sake you know I, I do it loudly and I do it obnoxiously and it's funny and I'm not hurting anybody it's not like the attention that I'm getting it's not like people watch me and and they notice me and they get hurt right it's just like people lol and they laugh out loud and things funny there's nothing wrong with it well some people like money some people like basketball some people like perfumes some people like money and fame, and I like attention. And uh, most people do stuff for attention anyway. Uh, as babies, the only defense mechanism that human beings have um, as babies, because as you know, uh, if you read science and evolutionary psychology, you would know that human beings are the weakest of all species because our brains need so much time to grow, and women's... Uh, women's pelvis isn't really big enough to hold the big brain so after uh, our brain mature way after uh, we're born so if you look at other animals if you look at other animals uh, after they're born two or three seconds later or two or three minutes later they have all their uh, mechanisms in place their survival mechanisms they can eat they can sleep they can shit they can they can walk, they can even, some sharks can even hunt. Like right after they get out of the womb, they can already hunt. So, yeah, so humans, uh, because their brains take so much time to mature, the only thing they could do is cry for, for help, for attention. So, since I lift weight so much and I, I'm so healthy, I can live until I'm 200 years old. So, I can stay babies longer, longer than you faggots. So, that means that I, I, I can be 50 years old, I can still like cry for attention like babies because I lift weights and I live very long and very healthy and uh, another reason is that um, I'm very I'm a very straightforward and honest guy some people if you drive a nice car you're doing it for attention if you if you uh, have wearing nice clothes you're doing it for, ten for attention if you want a better job if you want to climb the corporate ladder you're doing it for attention and uh, I'm doing it attention for attention's sake so you know it's like an abstract painting that represents nothing uh, but itself it is self-referential it's very honest it doesn't it's not means to an end it's the end you know it's it's it doesn't point to anything else uh, to represent itself is itself representing itself which doesn't need representation because it's so like it's like a raw power of potentiality that serves as the absolute so it's absolute that's incorporated within the potentiality and means in the ends are just you know they're they're the same in my in my case <coughs> And um, also because it feels good, um, it's obviously true that our identities are confirmed by other people's opinions and perceptions. So, hypothetically, if I'm I live on an island all by myself, uh, hypothetically and, uh, and theoretically, I can argue that I don't really exist because part of human. Uh, part of the thing about human existence and ego is that it, it arises out of this uh, dynamic uh, interaction with each other this is interchangeable like perception thing bouncing back and forth that's what makes our ego like metaphorically and, uh, and theoretically speaking so so that's why most people want attention because they 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 really don't exist they're like I mean I'm just, I'm as smart and as stupid as the next person think I am you know and and um, you know, I'm not aesthetic unless you know people like other people confirm me to be. You know, the standard for being aesthetic is uh, sort of a, a rubric that isn't really uh, within your, con your your control. It arises out of 
know, whatever, genetic dispositions and, and cultural dispositions and stuff like that. And, and that has to be in place for you to be identified uh, yourself as being someone who is aesthetic. So in a way, we um, our, our being, our existence, our egos are, are just... Um, yeah, it arises out of the interaction with the others. So, so if there's no me, there's no you, so and so, or towers, bullshit, right? So, like, if that's the case, then um, I'm just filling out my egos. Who doesn't want their egos to be big, right? Who doesn't want to feel good? Who doesn't want their own existence to be confirmed, right? <clears throat> like, that's part of like you know, fear, fear of death. And you want as many people to notice you, to remember you, to know them in your brain. You want to ex- continue to exist within uh, inside other people's heads after you long after you die. That's the motivation for everything. So, I'm just I know you 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 want attention too but most people who want attention just can't get it because they're not, they're not creative or not, they're not they're not crazy or smart or, or, or they're not doing it right so they, 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 they're really just you know you know yeah it's just a basic human instinct to, to want to cry for attention and the only difference between me and people who are complaining about uh, me getting attention is that I actually get some attention by acting stupid and you don't you only get it from like uh, five, four or five friends who like look at your bicep and says, "Oh, you can hit me. 